Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of The Aliens Gorilla Alien, inspired by the vintage Kenner action figure by NECA Toys. That's right, more Kenner awesomeness coming from NECA Toys. Let's check out the Gorilla Alien. As you can see, he comes in that clamshell style packaging we've seen for the other Aliens figures, but does a great job of looking just like the retro card back that the original Gorilla Alien came on. Has that great retro feel to it, and some awesome artwork down below of the Gorilla Alien. Along with that NECA logo done in the old Kenner style, which I always love to see. The back of the box has a cool cross sell of some of the other Alien and Predator figures from NECA Toys that also looks vintage like it came straight off the retro card back and we even have a little uh, cutout uh, like bio card for the Gorilla Alien up in the top left corner. I thought that was really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get our Gorilla Alien outside of the box and take a look at him. This is another massive alien figure. Let's check this out. With the tape measure in here, you can see that he stands about 9.5 inches tall. He's almost a full 10 inches tall uh, the way his head kind of crowns up there. So he is a huge, huge figure. And man, this is just a beautiful sculpt. Like, this seriously might be one of the coolest uh, Xenomorph sculpts that I've seen NECA do so far. Just check out some of the details on this guy. I love the shape of the head here. Look at this. It's got this long head, uh, the way it kind of spreads out at the top there into those points. is so cool. You've got this deep black uh, piece over the top right here. Of course, you've got the nice open jaw. Look at the way the teeth are kind of showing there. That is so, so very cool. Uh, but this is what's really awesome about this sculpt. He actually includes interchangeable uh, eyepieces there. So you could go with the solid black or you could go with the translucent. Now the solid black is more accurate to that vintage action figure, but if you want to put this on to see the skull underneath, well you can do that. And you might want to because check this out. Look at the sculpt of the skull underneath. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. First of all, I love how he's got a total primate look to that. Look at that. He's got a gorilla-like face sculpt there, which is amazing. So it's an overall amazing sculpt. So you can see that a lot better if you put this clear dome on over it. It just kind of clips right over the plastic there. It doesn't lock on super tight. You can see it always kind of pops up just a little bit there, but you can get it on there. It does stay on, and that way you can kind of see that sculpt a little bit better. But I absolutely love that sculpt. I think that is so, so wonderful. And even though it, I really like it, I kind of prefer the look of this black dome there. Uh, I guess it just gives it more of a vintage feel, but it does feel like a shame to cover up that beautiful skull sculpt underneath there. So the rest of the figure has got some great details, just like we've come to see from NECA's uh, Xenomorphs there. You can see he's got the big, long arms, and you can see they're much more muscular in the forearms here. Also love all the spikes coming off. So again, you can see the large hands with the bent knuckles gives them that very primate feel, which is so very cool. And even the feet. Look at the way the toes are on the feet, giving them that kind of ape-like look, which is so cool. And then the tail there, you do have that long, bendy tail like we've seen on a lot of Xenomorphs. And it even has like a clawed hand of its own on the end which does come right off the design of that vintage action figure so overall really really wonderful sculpt and great paint deco that brings out all of NECA's amazing detailing so let's go ahead and run down the articulation here. That head is ball jointed at the neck, so you should be able to move the head left and right, as well as slightly up and down. You can see it doesn't have a huge range of motion up and down, but it does suffice. You've got nice ball joints at the shoulder, so the arms can go forwards, backwards, so you can swivel at the elbow. you got nice double joints at the elbow there that are ball jointed, so you can swivel there at the elbow as well. Look at that great range of motion there. I love that. You can even swivel the forearms there. Uh, you've got nice ball joints at the wrist so the wrist can swivel they can also move up and down that's going to be great for some of those ape-like poses if you want to get that uh the torso is ball jointed so you can swivel the upper body all the way around same kind of ball joints at the thighs legs can go outwards forwards backwards as well as swivel there you got those great double joints at the knees with a nice kneecap in the center i love that so great range of motion there and then the feet are also ball jointed so they can roll all the way around you got joints at the toes and then the tail as i showed you is that bending material which we've seen on a lot of neckers is xenomorphs so this guy's got some great posability here the joints all seem to be really tight on this guy which i like and you can get some great poses with a wonderfully sculpted figure 
Now our gorilla alien does come with a few accessories. First of all, we do just have a little face hugger, which we've seen these in the past, but this one is colored just like our gorilla alien with that blue and black kind of faded on there. Uh, he is not poseable. He's just made of uh, you know solid plastic, but he's a great little sculpt there. He is bendy at the tail, so you can wrap that around. That way you can get it to attack you or Kenner style Ripley if you want to, but nice little pack and accessory. Always appreciate getting the little face huggers there. And then one of the other things that NECA is doing with their Kenner inspired figures is reprinting the Dark Horse mini comics that came with the original Kenner figure. So we got the Gorilla Alien Jungle Attack comic number four here. And it's just really cool to see these original comics brought back. Look at those bright colors in there. I love it. So very, very cool little pack and accessory. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Here is a look at the brand new NECA Gorilla Alien standing alongside the vintage Kenner action figure so you can really see where NECA got their inspiration from. Such a great figure in the vintage line, and I absolutely love NECA's update here. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Gorilla Alien from NECA Toys. Overall, this is just an awesome action figure. I know I'm just gushing about it, but I can't help it. He's amazing. I love these Kenner homages so much because I'm such a fan of that original toy line, and NECA just nailed this Gorilla Alien. He's huge. He's hulking. He's got an amazing sculpt with a good paint deco. The articulation functions nicely, but I absolutely love the interchangeable domes, and I love that head sculpt. He is such a very cool figure and a great nod to a vintage action figure that I love. So a very special thanks to the folks at NECA Toys for sending this guy along so we can get a good look at him outside of the packaging. Guys, this Kenner Wave is starting to hit store shelves right now. So happy hunting, my friends. And hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe so you never miss out on a review. Until next time, my friends.